What's up guys, Jeremy here from Off Topic Network and today I'm going to be showing you the RX121-1 Gundam TR1 Hazel Custom or just Hazel Custom. This is a HGUC kit and uh, it's fucking badass. At the end of this unboxing I'm going to show you the uh, built product. It's not going to be panel lined or painted. You're going to get to see exactly what it looks like if you just build it right out of the box, and that's it. So, let's get started here. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I probably shouldn't be using my blade here, my X-Acto, to open packaging. Probably dull it out a bit, but it's okay, I have a bunch of blades, so... All right, so first off, obviously, uh, has some pretty cool box art. Uh, we could see he's got this little Titans uh, test team sticker on his shoulder, and I'm pretty sure that it comes with that sticker, as well as a few others. And uh, he's got this big-ass shield, um, this big, like, jetpack. Uh, I don't know what else it is, but I, I know it moves and just huge bulky armor on him. So, let's take a look at this side here. And you can see uh, what he's gonna look like when he's built. He's got some kind of funny looking stickers on him. Don't know if you could see that, but um, yeah, this is gonna be a fun build, I think. Uh, I like weird little things like that. There's this side. And then this side over here, you get to just see a few more angles of him. Looks like his articulation is going to be pretty good, at least in the arms there. So, I'm excited for that. So, yeah. Um, I am going to... Well, wait. Let's fucking open this shit. <laughs> what am I doing? Alright. So here are some of the runners. Now let's go ahead and take them out. Sorry about all the crinkling noise. Maybe it'll uh, get you get some of you ASMR junkies going. I don't really know how that works, but uh, let's put that aside and get them all out of the packaging, and then we'll take a look at them. Yeah. It's a different kind of packaging, not the normal cellophane that we're used to here. I'm wearing gloves right now because I'm about to build this thing and uh, I tend to sweat out of my hands a lot. Probably because I drink a shit ton of coffee. Um, but I don't want all that sweat getting on my parts uh, in case I want to paint it later. I mean, if I am going to paint it, I'll probably end up uh, going ahead and washing all the parts anyway. So that's just kind of what you do. Alright, so let's start with these runners. Actually, let's start with the stickers. So it looks like uh, it's got a few different foil stickers. Not too many. There's five in total, which really isn't bad at all. Uh, I like when a kit doesn't have too many foil stickers. Um, but if you're painting it, that doesn't really matter anyway. But And then here is uh, really cool actually. It has a bunch of these uh, dry rub stickers. So those are going to look nice on there. Yeah. Uh, right here, obviously, is the uh, the polycaps, and then we've got runner C, runner D, 
runner A, which is one of those like compound runners, has uh, three different, well, four different uh, colors on it. And last, runner B. So, looks like it's going to be another simple kit. Yeah, that looks badass. Um, does it have a color guide? I don't know. It's all in Japanese, of course. Okay. Again, really simple stuff. Okay, there's the color guide. But it doesn't have it in English. Uh, the last one I did, uh, that one actually had all of the colors in English as well, which uh, was really nice, you know. But this one doesn't, so whatever. So, yeah, that is that. I will come back to you guys when I have this built. So, I will see you soon. Well, I am finished building it now. Um, fuck, I don't know how long that took. Probably like two and a half, three hours, something like that. Um, who knows? Might take you less time. Might take you more time. Um, you know, everybody's different. Everybody builds at a different pace. But uh it took me personally like two and a half or three hours. Um, this kit was really fun to build. Uh, I just really liked it. It was relaxing. Didn't have any major problems at all. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty great. Um, I didn't put any of the uh, decals on there, but you can see them right here. Uh, I'm going to put them on uh, in a bit, but I just wanted you guys to see how it looks pretty much without anything. Uh, I did put the detail stickers on, the foil stickers. Um, it was a little tricky getting the uh, eye stickers on, which is pretty much standard for any kit. Um, you know, uh, I don't know, I like him a lot. Uh, he's got this giant shield here, which also can attach to the back up there. Uh, he's got the smaller shield if you want him to, you know, be able to move around better. He's got these two parts here. And it's not really focusing, but who cares. Um, those can go up there where those little yellow parts are. And I don't really know why. But, uh, yeah, you can swap them out for these. I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll watch a video of somebody else reviewing them so I can uh, know what that's about. But yeah, let's take a look at him. Uh, this gun is pretty nice. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the blue. I guess it's a little refreshing, uh, seeing as most of the kits I have are that, like, same kind of grayish color as like the hands um, but overall it's pretty cool um, I think with such a bulky model though I probably would have preferred a longer weapon uh, but whatever it, it's cool um, there you can see that huge shield it's very nice and maybe I'll show it to you hooked on to the back. I don't know if I can get it off. There we go. See, it's got this little thing that flips up right there. Let's go ahead and focus first. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't <laughs> know what uh, the point of that is. Is that like an umbrella or some shit? I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it does that. 
and uh, this moves back like that and can go up like that so yeah there's that I go ahead and take that off and be careful I wonder if it goes no it won't go that way but yeah that moves pretty cool um, let's see what else uh, the arm bends pretty far I like that uh, I don't know what kind of poses I guess it'd be cool if you wanted to do like a pose like that you know with the gun up like that maybe not so dramatic but maybe like that it's pretty cool uh, the head mm, is a little limited, but, eh, you know, not too bad. Uh, the shoulders, let's take a look at that. Go ahead and take this hand off for the moment. And, yeah, it goes up about 90 degrees at the shoulder. This turns all the way around. Uh, no articulation right there at the wrist, but that's fine because uh, you have it on the hand, so no problems there. Uh, it's a little, the shoulder kind of gets messed up when you put it down, so and it's a little tight, so you gotta fix that. Um, barely moves. Well, wait. Maybe it's the arm that's in the way. Yeah, with these uh, with these pieces on there, I think it makes it a little too bulky to move around all the way. So let's take those off and see what we can get at the waist. Still not getting very much. Um, so, yeah, he barely moves this way. Which is fine. Um, these move up and down pretty good. Um, these ones I, I don't know uh, because I went ahead and just cut them right away in the middle to separate them because it was all one piece. Uh, so it would go up like this, probably that far if you didn't cut it. Uh, but since I cut it, they can move around quite freely. So. I, I would probably recommend you, you do that as well. So that way, you know, they can move independently uh, on that front skirt there. Uh, let's see the legs. Legs, uh, not too bad. Ooh, he's skipping now. Um, I don't know. Uh, see, since it's so bulky, it kind of really gets in the way of some uh, parts, but I don't know. Overall, it's the articulation is surprisingly good uh, for how bulky he is. Uh, the feet don't move too much, but they move enough. And what am I missing? I think that's really it for articulation. Um, as far as weapons go, he just has this and then, uh, you know, this beam saber. I think that's what they call him. <laughs> uh, he has a separate hand that goes on this side for the beam saber. Uh, let's go ahead and put this other shield on him. So we can see that. Okay, that took a little bit longer than it should. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, well, I actually think I might like this. Uh, I left a little piece right there. I need to fix that. Uh, I think I might like this shield better. It just looks cooler. I like the curvature of it. So, yeah, this is the Hazel Custom. Um, I'm not sure how I like the uh, 
Well, let's see. He looks a little like short and stocky. Uh, just because of how huge these legs are. Uh, so if he was just like a couple millimeters taller, I think it would make it look better. But overall, great kit. Uh, really enjoyed making this. And uh, next I'm going to put those decals on. And well, I'm going to think about it for a bit because I might still want to paint him. Uh, and if I do paint him, then obviously I'm going to want to put the decals on afterwards. So, yeah, so you're not going to see me putting those decals on, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, uh, that was my video. If you're watching this on uh, Off Topic Network, uh, I'm going to be posting the full build video along with uh, all the content you've seen here. So it'll just be the full video, basically, on our other channel, OTN Hobby. I haven't really even posted anything to it yet, but uh, check out the full build. And if nobody watches it on there, then maybe I'll post it up on here. But let me know uh, if you guys like this, uh, what I can do to improve these types of videos, and uh, make sure to subscribe. See you next time.